and I used What's to the most you've ever secured a phone? 140 from? grand. 140? 140 grand, and I was 17 years old, fam. You offered him blows. There's no. <laughs> way. no, no. <laughs> yeah, man, it's your boy, Young Philly. And I'm Darkest. Welcome back to Life Advice. And yes, you already know how this works the show where we solve dilemmas and problems. Yes, sir. Me and Philly are going to be sat here talking about people's careers. Today's episode is about careers, Philly. That's careers. exciting. Careers. But as always, before we start, comment, like, subscribe. Please that do all that being said, Let's get into it. I really like these shows, by the way. I like, like the ones where you can sit down and talk. Right, cool. And it's mad, because do you know who really, 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 and I mean really love doing these sort of um, YouTube videos? Who? Chunks. Well, he loves these ones, doesn't he? Yeah. yeah. It's a just shame, brother. He, he can just sit back. You know when you got a discharge? It's calm, though, man. You went for the M's, man. Love, love, love. <laughs> I don't think I know. Let me think. Let me think all the chats we've had. What did you do as a job before? Okay, so this one says, what did you I know do Chunk as a job before? I know used to work in a cinema YouTube. with AJ. Yeah. What did Sharky do? Sharky was working in, uh, um, uh, I was about to say Arsenal Stadium, but Emirates. Harry done uh, the cool thing over the phone. Yeah. Uh, well, like when you call people. And babe station. Them. No, not Fave station. What else did the man, I don't think I know what you do. What did, this is, this is actually no. brilliant. What did you well, do? I went to uni for about a year. The clock that went for me, then I was working for oh, a you few. did what Chanka did? Yeah, yeah. I went for uni for a year, the clock that wasn't for me. I'm not really an exam guy, man. I don't really like exams. I don't really like the idea of revising the whole year and that, that so one you, exam. you never had a job? I've had a job. What, I've had a job. What was your job? I was literally answering phone calls and just like, answering emails for people and just doing things that they couldn't do themselves. I don't know why. It was just so is that PA or admin? Admin, I'd say. I, like, I just like how admin sounds. What was your first job? I, used to, I was a kitchen porter. Do you know what that is? Kitchen porter. Define porter. So the guy that wa washes all the plates and that in the restaurant. So a dishwasher. Uh, <laughs> I love how you tried to give yourself like a mad title. That Kitchen was, porter. Yeah. You wash dishes. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and then my second one was in... Um, Trading, I know you did. No, trade. Clark's. I worked in Clark's. Oh, the shoes? Yeah. Okay. In the stock room. Sick job. Yeah, I can imagine. Um, and then, yeah, I got into trading. Oh, so how was trading for you? You must have Cold. Been... Really? I was so sick on the phones, fam. And I think that's why I'm so good at my job now, if I can give myself a power. Um, yeah, because obviously I'm on the, I'm calling, cold calling people, cold calls, private, private calling. I love these words. Dude. And I'm asking you to invest peas, blood. Do you know how skilled you have to be, bro? Yeah, yeah. For a random person that's, that's never met you in real life to go, yeah, here's 10 grand over the phone. And I What's the most you've ever secured, secured over the phone? 140 grand. <laughs> One force! 140 grand and I was 17 years old, fam. You offered him blows. There's no <laughs> way. No, no. <laughs> 140 <laughs> grand, 17. In terms I'll of never forget that, fam. In terms of inspiration, how, how would you, what advice would you give? Um, you can't really tell someone how to just, get inspired, just, man. Just what I would say, because I was, I, was, I was a young man that didn't know how I wanted to be successful. I just knew I was hungry to be successful. So an example I'll give you is that, is oh, so that was uh, that was William Shaw, yeah. So, know. yeah, so for everyone at home, yeah. when you hear me say like William Shaw, and I do like that, was my phone voice. I used to go, It's uh, William Shaw calling from <laughs> five. I understand you received a brochure from yes. one of my uh, junior brokers, okay. So, I'll, I'll be, I'll be. Go mad fan. okay. So, let's say this. Um, so basically, I have a problem with the diplomatic reviews on Vector 5. So, what advice would you give me there in terms of investments? You know, it depends on how your mahogany set out. Yeah. You know? yeah, yeah. <laughs> your maho <laughs> mahogany's wood. How do they? <laughs> I get no girls. What job would make them want me? There's no Work job. on you, brother. There's no job. Actually, yeah and no, there is though. Not for every girl. I'm not saying every woman. But there are certain girls that like a man with status or money. Yeah. Factual. Definitely, but those are, those are not the girls you want. I yeah, 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 for sure. Those are not the girls you but want. But he says I get no girls. Oh, but, so no but girls at, all. This, so at this point, he just wants naan bread. Oh, you just want naan bread. I get it. Um, what job will make them want me? That's that's crazy because I know girls that like like businessmen. I know girls that like drug dealers. I know girls that like um, uh, vape investors. So I feel like um, vape investors. Yeah. <laughs> so I feel like. <laughs> What Dark is it's trying to say, there is someone out there for you. Just because you're not getting the ones you want, it doesn't mean you can't get them. Do you get what I'm saying? There's Done. so, much, on, there's so much things in this world. Over the pandemic, I was f***ing loads, but now I'm back in the office, I'm really horny. I used to get that though, the raging random horns. Like, I'd be in class and that, nothing sexual was even around me in my sight, I'd just get a boner. 
Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not really. Can I be real with you? Boners are not really something you can control. It just kind of happens. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying to you? What do you do when you get a boner? I just put it on my waist. Uh, no, I, I make it stand up. So I put it yeah, like above in your my waist. belly. No, like, I make it stand up like that. So it's like. No, your thing uh, don't touch up there. No, it does. Stop doing it, that. I, I make uh, it just. Do you know what I mean? And it goes up here. Up it's here. really hard to see. Look where you tap. Yeah. Just below his chest. <laughs> Alright, cool. Yeah. Alright, next one is I've worked at a company for over a year. I got really drunk at a work event. I told one guy I really liked him, which I do, but kissed another one and ended up crying and being sick. Now I'm really embarrassed and feel like everyone looks at me and talks about me. Should I change jobs? Nah. Nah, why would you change drunk. jobs? Why would you change jobs? If they're adults and they're smart enough, they will know that when you are drunk, you act out of character. 100%. I mean, I've never been drunk. I don't know how it feels like, but I can understand what, yeah. what alcohol feels uh, like. I love when you fake drunk, though. He'll drink like an orange juice hey, and then pretend. Hey. Have you f***ing birthed him, my bro? I am more life. Yeah. I love you, bro. Mom, I swear. Fam. You want to raise a glass? <laughs> hey, that's how bad the move, you know? Tell you. That's how bad the move. So, yeah, if you're really drunk, minor, um, Everyone working at your company should be an adult, and I'm sure an adult is going to understand that when you're drunk, you know. You yeah, yeah. I hope that they're like, "Are oh, you were really drunk yesterday, but you didn't even know." It. Like they can already yeah, understand yeah. that you were drunk. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So yeah, don't leave jobs, man. That's a bit drastic. Don't do that. Yeah. That's extreme. So yeah, I hope you take our advice. Yeah. Swiftly moving on to the deeper section of yeah. the video. All right then. Go on, Phil. How do I tell my family in the most respectful way uh, to not uh, meddle? Mind your damn business. I'm joking. What, um, does, what, do you, what does meddle mean? Like get involved. Meddle, mm. like don't meddle in my, in my, in my shit. Hey, you know this is our right bars, interesting fact. But meddle, is that, you just came across that now? Yeah. I can't wait to hear that in your song. Yeah. yeah. I don't like to meddle, but you know I've got a meddle. Yeah, <laughs> 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 I don't like to meddle, but you know I've got a meddle. Yeah, cold. Okay, how do I tell my family in the most respectful way to not, to not meddle in my goals slash business? Um, Have a sit down. Don't shout, don't, no, just yeah, do you know try what? to have like, just talk like civilized human beings. If it's your mum, be like, mum, I love you more than anyone. Just always start with the positive. Love you, you're my queen, you're everything to me. But like, this is something I need to handle on my ones. And the more you get involved, it just annoys me. And I know it shouldn't be bad, but it's the truth. So you get me, I need to work on myself. I need to make sure it's just me, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. And you meddling doesn't motivate me or anything. It just sort of brings me down because I'm like, why is she always meddling? If I was just by myself, I could really focus on it. and. If you don't meddle, I just know that you've accepted it and it will just make it more easy on my conscience and my life and everything. Uh, that was perfect. <laughs> no. I think you should copy. Seriously, <laughs> if you, you're you watching this and you're giving the advice, take that in word for word, just copy that. Yeah, but can I be real with you though, bro? I don't see it as a bad thing because I people that usually meddle, it depends in a good way. If they're just trying to find out like, oh, what are you doing now? Or like just trying to get stuff out of you, it's different. But if it's your mum, that's just, or like someone, your close someone family member. Someone that cares, yeah. Yeah, and they just, they just want to be updated and they're just constantly trying to give you advice, even though they don't necessarily understand the field that you're in. But like those people that I can understand, because I know they just want the best for me, innit? And that's, yeah. the, that's what's fueling them to give me this. But it depends how you meddle. But either way, you should always have that sit down, that respectful conversation. Tell them how it is, and then you move forward. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. Do you know what's so tough as well? Because if you're, like, if I think about my mum specifically, yeah. When I was younger, I thought my mum knew it all. But as I got older, I learned things that my mum didn't. But yeah, you listen to this on this. Your family is not always right, fam. Yeah, not. Like not my mum's been wrong bare times, or I've taught my mum so many things that she thought was a certain way. Do you get what I'm saying? So. Yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just because they're getting involved, it doesn't mean that it's bro, They are wrong it's... sometimes, bro, but they're right a lot yeah. of the time. Yeah, my mum's been more right than wrong. Yeah, way Factual. more, way more, way, way more. Like, if I had to do numbers, she's been right a thousand, wrong ten. Yeah, <laughs> but those ten, I love those ten. Yeah. Because I can tell her she's wrong. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I, lo I, wait, I wait for that moment. No, I, love, I, lo I actually love teaching my mum life lessons. Yep. You, know? you know, like, you've taught me your whole life, mum, now I get to... She gives you that face, that little... Yeah, yeah. Like, you know the little tilt? Yeah, like, I got you. Love my mom. Um, but also, my answer, to summarise it, um, I feel like a lot of the time we just base it on like relationships, sexual relationships, but I think we should base it on every relationship, friends, family, all of that. Just communicate. Yeah, definitely. Just have a conversation, bro. But the best way, the best, uh, the most respectful way to tell them is the most respectful way to tell them. Mm. <laughs> Literally, just be respectful as way, like, be the most respectful you possibly can. We happy with how we summarize I'm happy this? with that, yeah. So I feel like my summary is communicate and you obviously done some long little speech that they can literally copy and paste. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So the most respect respectful way, just tell them suck your mum. So the next one we have is, I work in a bar and my friend keeps stealing from the till. Not a lot, but it adds up. 
I think my manager has noticed because he keeps asking us about, you know that if. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's, yeah, it, it's, it, the, it's if. the if. It's the if, okay. if, but say it. All right, cool. I think my manager has noticed because he keeps asking us about it. We're putting things right through, at the, we're putting things through at the right price. What do yeah, I do? It's, it's spelt mad, by the way. My brother yeah, can I'm, read. I'm, 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 the, I'm the one that struggles with reading. The way this is written. But <laughs> it is written, it's me. mad. Um, I'll say the problem is you. You are the problem. If you sent this advice, you're an absolute pagan. The fact that you started the sentence with my friend, keep stealing, what should I do? What, you're gonna snake on your friends? You absolute <laughs> You don't deserve good friends. Why are you, why, why is snitching even like, why are you even considering that? No, but what the fuck What I would do, what Phil, I would do. Phil, no, wait, snitching. let me land, let me land. What I would do is I would talk to my friend and say what you're doing is not cool. But you don't say to Foot Asylum and to let Philly and Darkest determine whether you snitch on your mate. I beg you taking what this person's just yeah, done. Yeah, no, 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 no. Do you um, know how mad this is? Yeah. But if I, she said work, colleague, I wouldn't even have this opinion. Yeah, I'll be like, You bro, said, sing. my friend. Sing. You. But friend, that's crazy. You put friend in there. That ruins everything. Yeah, you can't snake. Yeah, you can't snake. Just You're like, you need to check but yourself. Then what, if, what if your manager thinks it's you now? It's not. I told my manager, I don't know. So I, I, I was just about to say, check the CCTV, but that is kind of snake and If he checks and then sees Jerome take the doll, mad. Yeah. But. Jerome, why is he black? <laughs> yeah, why is he black? <laughs> okay, I feel, stealing, is it ever right? No, it's not. No, it's not. No, I don't. I, it's no. not. Nope. No, stealing is not ever right. Um, is snitching ever right? Um, in some cases, yeah, not in this one, though. No. Yeah, in some cases. In some in cases, yeah, it's the way forward. If you're just a civilian and you, it's different. But in this like situation- you a random guy rob an old lady, and the old lady, I don't know, her passport's in there, she ain't got no money. You get it, and the police, oh, did you see anything? Yep. Yep, I yep. He had, he had single plats, he was wearing a night track. He's right there, actually, He's yeah. you can see him. Do you it's know what? I think I know someone that knows him. Yeah. Furthermore, his yard's right there. I'm joking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Literally. Can I just summarize quickly? Yeah. Okay, snip, if, you, if it's your friend, yeah, and snitch and the idea of snitching comes into your head. Please take that out because once he's your friend, my bullshit becomes your bullshit and your bullshit becomes my bullshit. So at that point, we just move on with our mouths closed. Don't say anything. If I see you coming to work naked, I'm not going to tell the boss. I'm going to let him catch you on his ones. Mm. Why is it my business? And lies, you know, the only time snitching is acceptable. If oh. you really ain't about this life, yeah? Let's just say a roadman comes up to a, a young schoolboy or whatever, yeah? yeah? Takes his phone, wallet, down to the trainers, yeah? yeah. That boy has to snitch, fam. Yeah, no, has to. Has He's to, called has Charlie to. Scott. He lives with his mum, Donna. Yeah. And all he wants to do is go to school without having anxiety. Of course he's gonna <laughs> snitch, because you ain't got Big Bill to come and call to defend him. <laughs> I just made my TikTok. Nah, but do you get what I'm saying though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So understand, when I'm saying that, we just come from a certain environment. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, there's certain times where certain things are okay. It's so nuts. Um, Can but I ask you a question though? You and Tiffany are walking down the road. Um, Tiffany does something stupid, like rob someone, and 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 like really really hurts them. And then you both get called in um, to the to the train uh, train station to the police station. So you're getting interrogated now. They'll be like, listen, tell tell us everything that happened. Otherwise, you're both getting 15. Boy, <laughs> there we go. At that point, I've got alright. Cool. Let me chat to my solicitor. <laughs> I'm bringing the best solicitor yeah. that my money can possibly buy. Yeah, bro. If it's my friend, only God is my witness. I can't snitch. Fairs. I was, I'll look at my bridge and I'll be like, you're gonna have to No, no, first, all right, cool. I will do that then. You're gonna have to I will first, do that bro. then. That's another option. I like that. Yeah, do you know what I mean? Yo, brother, you know what you did was out of pocket. Didn't know you was gonna do that today. Yeah, it wasn't my plan. I was trying to go home. I'm asking you as my brethren if I mean anything to you, hold that. Yeah. Car, you know I'm not even in. Yeah, yeah, Mum's yeah. relying on me. If I go, we're all. <laughs> she get it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, but what if you said, nah, but I can't, man. I can't, I can't. It's a sticky, sticky, yicky. It's mad sticky. <laughs> no. God, please never put me in that position, bro. Yeah, that is a tough situation. That ends in me saying that is a no, tough situation. But you see, like, the way I'm enjoying my life right now? Yeah. My new car's coming. So imagine what that. My new car comes and then my brethren does that on the same day. I'll be like, fam, you got to go in there. I need to drive that car. So your car is what you're worried about. Your car is stopping you from sitting. Yeah, but if you're my friend, you all my friends know I'm a petrol head. Yeah. So I feel like my friend will understand. With that being said, guys, <laughs> thank you for watching. It means the absolute world to us. <laughs> Comment, like, subscribe as always. Yeah. God bless you. Take care. Love. How are you getting scammed from a dot com? <laughs> should, should I sue them or never use them again? Well, this is how I know you might be young. <laughs>